All right, well, it's summer and we are getting ready for the archery season coming up here in September. And one of the ways we're doing that is we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning out our freezer. If you watched our last video, you would have seen that our uh, grinder actually went completely south on us. We, were, we had to throw it away, get rid of it. We went and we bought a new one. And so we're excited to show you today the Cabela's Carnivore Commercial Series. So stay tuned. videos on how to make venison breakfast sausage you might know that our previous grinder gave up on us so and someone threw it in the trash yeah and Christy threw it in the trash so we went ahead and bought a new one we had that one for like 12 years and so we actually upgraded that one was a home just a smaller grinder this is the Cabela's commercial grade um, carnivore I don't know what all the names on it are. It's a half horse, uh, number eight. So it's the smallest commercial grinder they have. Um, these are a pretty new line, I think. You can see it's uh, got the rollout drawer for all your attachments, all that. It has an attachment for... Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, it has an attachment, uh, several different attachment options. So patty makers, foot switch, all that. So yeah, hopefully we're gonna be able to grind up a lot more and um, have more versatile use of our meat that we that we get every year. So this is a neat little feature that they provide on this. This is called a cool tech. Um, you put this in the freezer and it actually wraps around the throat or the neck of this. You lock it on there and once it's cold, it's supposed to help keep the, uh, the auger cool and all that inside. I don't know how much it actually will, but we'll see. We'll use it and we'll use it out. like it's supposed to and uh, let you know. All right, so we got the 10 millimeter plate on here right now. This is the meat we're doing. We got about between uh, probably 15 and 20 pounds of meat right here. So um, we're gonna see how quick this goes. I forget what the actual grind rate is for this. Yes, seven. Uh, it says seven pounds per minute, right? So uh, this should go really, really fast, um, but we'll find out. Yeah, so we're super pleased with this first grind. It only took about four minutes to do 17 pounds. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually cube up the hog fat. We're gonna put it in and run it through with the small plate. And as we put it through, we'll just kind of add a little bit as a time at a time as we do the second with the second grind of venison. So as we do that, uh, it's not gonna take long. One note for you is on the venison, make sure it's as lean as you can get it. Even if you have a big grinder, um, that sinew and stuff, it may not gum up your grinder too bad, but it's just not good to eat. It doesn't have a good uh, mouthfeel when you're trying to eat it. Um, if you miss some, it's okay. You can pull it out as you're cooking it, but our family, Christy especially, doesn't like that gritty, like sinewy feel in the, in the meat. So um, we're gonna go ahead and chop up that fat and get our second grind going. This is really awesome, it looks great. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and fire this thing up again. We're gonna drop the uh, venison in as we go and just add the hog fat uh, a little a piece at a time. All right, so what do you think so far? Pros, cons? You know, it's really efficient. It doesn't take very much time. 
at all. I mean, compared to the last one we had, it doesn't take very much time at all. Um, I feel like it's coming out very easily. There's no struggle with this machine. Right. It's going well so far. I haven't looked down in here yet. So a lot of times when you mess with fat, direct fat, instead of putting like a pork butt in or beef in with this, is you'll get a coating of fat around the auger and things like that, but I'm not seeing anything really coating or clogging right now. This Cooltech device that's on here is actually surprising me. Like yeah. I thought this was totally just it's, a gimmick. It's cold all the but way. But yeah, it's, there's cold. like, there's, it's not just condensation. That's actually a little bit of frost on the, the throat of the grinder. So the Cooltech is pretty cool. I like it. I think it's awesome. So. So all in all, the grinding's done. Pretty pleased with the process. Uh, one nice thing that I didn't mention earlier about this grinder, it does have a reverse function. I had to use that a couple of times when we had the small plate on uh, because it was the, the fat was getting a little bound up in there, but nothing serious. Just hit the reverse, it backs it up, and then put it in forward again, and it shoots it right through. So uh, really pleased with that. Uh, we like to do one pound packages of meat so that um, it's a little more manageable for us if we want four hamburgers or whatever uh, we can do it that way how many did we end up with 19. so we ended up with 19 packages which is about exactly right what we expected we had 17 pounds of venison and two pounds of fat so um, that's what we did there really pleased with the way the grind looks so now we're gonna go ahead and grill some of these up and see how they taste all right guys, so it's the next day. We're gonna fire this grill up. We're gonna make up some venison hamburgers and we are going to really enjoy that venison that we ground up yesterday. mix up our venison hamburgers today all I've got is a little bit of seasoning salt one tip about seasoning salt with hamburgers make sure you season until you feel like you're putting a little too much in there and it should be about right then we're gonna add a little bit of cheddar cheese to those burgers and then I'm gonna actually split this mixture in half and I'm gonna add some jalapenos because I like a little heat in my venison burger so one other trick with hamburgers a lot of people put like breadcrumbs and eggs and all kinds of other stuff in them you don't need to do that if you don't handle them too much so as long as the meat's cold and the fat content is not breaking down in them as long as they're cold you shouldn't need to put any extra stuff in there so we're gonna go ahead and mix these up and get them on the grill
what did you think about the new Cabela's Carnivore Grinder? I thought it was great. It did exactly what we needed it to. Um, did a really good job. And I thought that it was worth our time and our money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Guys, having ground meat in your freezer is really all about versatility. Um, that's one thing we use probably more than any other thing. I know when we do get beef, uh, the ground meat is the first thing to go typically because we use a lot of it around our house. So having this for us has been a, a real help. Also, one thing I noticed that was really helpful was once we got those in the one pound packages, we put six packages in a gallon Ziploc bag and we reduced the amount of uh, freezer space that was being used like times 10. There's yeah. hardly any space that's being used from that meat anymore. So And then when we go to get it out of there, we can just find the gallon bag and not have to search around for what little one pound packages. We can just grab stuff out of the gallon bag. Right, so super easy, super helpful. Um, check it out. I'll put a link in the description as to where you can get that grinder. Uh, again, we're not sponsored by Cabela's, but we are certainly glad that we picked up the grinder that we did from there. So as always guys, thanks for watching. We're glad that you joined us. If you get a chance and you like this video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure and do that. But most of all, share this video. If you really enjoy what we're doing and check out all the other videos on the channel. Guys, God bless. We hope you have a great summer and I am gonna try this venison burger. Thanks for watching.